Hello everyone and welcome back to Ghost Paper. My name is Leo and I'm the creator behind this channel and welcome back to another mini tutorial session video. In this one we're going to actually talk about the freehand selection tool and the power that the freehand selection tool actually has. So I'm sure that you're familiar with this tool but I'm not, I'm not really sure if you know all of the options that this tool has so we're going to get into those. But just before that if you want to learn a little bit more about digital illustration and how to become a digital illustrator especially using the medium of the iPad and tools such as Procreate make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. So now without any further ado, let's get with the video. So the selection tool, first of all, we're, we know that the selection tool lives right here, right next to the move tool and the adjustments tool. However, the selection tool has four different modes. And in one of my previous tutorial videos, we've covered the automatic selection tool and how we can actually use it uh, the best way. So now let's talk about the freehand selection tool. For that, I'm going to use as an example, uh, this is one of my last illustrations here done on this channel, but I feel like this leaf right here is one of the best uh, examples I can give using this tool. Basically, let's just say that we want to select, for now, we want to select uh, half of this leaf and we want to create like a true color leaf, for example. If you're like a little bit familiar with this tool, you can try to use the freehand selection. You go and you try to draw around this element but as you can see right here, I'm going to zoom in so you see this a little better. Let's just say we want half of this, uh, half of this leaf. You see that I wasn't able to really capture as close as I wanted to the black outlines as well as maybe at some points here I went inside of the illustration, inside of the pink or the black areas. And that's not really a good uh, mask for me to be able to paint a color or to change the color here to a uh, two colored leaf. So uh, what's the best way to actually use this tool? So basically for the um, first off, when you click here with the tip of your pencil onto the canvas, you create this little circle which represents the beginning of your selection. Now you don't have to actually have the tip of your pen onto the canvas and, continuous, uh, and, and continuously uh, draw the shape that you want. You can actually just click like this and now we've made a straight line. And there you go, because this area is very straight, using straight line mode, uh, actually picking is the best for that area. But now for this curved section here, now I can go and I can try to draw that curve as best as I can. And now for the next section, I'm just gonna raise my pencil and I'll click or tap onto the area that I want. And I can continue right here. And I'm going to draw again this section right here, this curved section, and then straight area, straight area, and now curved again. I'm just gonna draw here and straight. And let's just say, uh, as I was just saying, like we wanna paint half the sleeve. So I'm gonna go about here and then we're gonna go and close this selection. Now, as you can see, uh, the area that we want to uh, that we want to affect is here without this cross hatching effect, and all the areas that are not masked have this cross hatching effect. And also, by the way, if we go here into the actions menu and into preferences, uh, with this uh, slider here called selection mask visibility, we can tweak the um, how much you actually see the areas that are not affected. I'm leaving this high as I can because I want to make sure that the video captures it. And another thing here as a bonus tip for this video is that for any slider here in Procreate, you can tweak it normally just like that, but you can also drag it down and you can actually um, tweak the slider uh, over this area and you see that you're actually doing by increment. So you're actually doing with way more precision uh, by actually sliding down your finger onto this area more or less here off, the, off your iPad and then tweaking the slider, you see the slider still moving. But for now, for this video, we're gonna leave this number as a really high number as we wanna create that con contrast that I want to um, the video to capture that contrast. So uh, I'm just gonna go back into our selection that we have right here. And now, because I just clicked on preferences, I actually, uh, I went outside of the selection mode. So let's just say that I've actually wanted to take out of this part because we just wanna color half of the sleeve, but I don't have the options anymore right here. But if you hold, if you press and hold the selection menu, you actually get an undo back into the selection mode. So now we can just draw, or in fact, it's better if I just pick because it's a straight line. And then I'm gonna draw around. And now that I have this area right here, 
uh, and this is uh, one selection or my second selection uh, which means that it came after that first one that I did I have now the option to select add or remove in this case I want to remove the selection and now I have just half of my leaf and now if I click with my painting tool I can paint this area and now I'm just gonna step outside and take a look at my uh, illustration as you can see there were some areas that weren't still covered so this is the beauty of this mode is that it does allow you to go back into the mode and use undo controls so here I just use undo to go back uh, before I actually use my brush strokes I'm going to again click and hold and now I can zoom in which this tool also allows you to actually zoom in uh, you don't have to worry about that while you're selecting and we're going to make a better selection for this edge right here and I'm gonna close it and once you close it appropriate understands that this is an, uh, an additive mask so you're adding to your selection but if you don't close your mask you do have to choose between those two options so right here I'm just gonna do another selection a little bit better I'm not gonna close and I'm gonna click remove as I don't want this area to be painted so now I believe I created a better mask for this section so now if we go back again onto the painting uh, mode here with the brush you see that I've uh, did a way better job here with this edge so overall the free uh, the freehand tool actually allows you to get really really good results as long as you know how to actually uh, work with the tool so that's it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope you had some good educational value on how to use the freehand selection tool if you did find this video informative and if it helped you in any way shape or form please leave a like to this video subscribe to the channel for more tools more mini tutorials and speed paint videos and I'll see you guys on the next one